Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing you guys how to build my castle gate or portcullis gate. Now, this is the third portcullis gate I've built on my channel. However, this one is definitely the easiest one to build. So we just click this button, our gate opens up. And then we can go inside our castle. Well, actually, technically, we were inside our castle. And then we click the button again, and it closes behind us. Now, the reason why I say this is the inside, because this is the side with the lockout switch. So we click this down right here, go to click the button. As you can see, our gate will not open up now. So let's start building this thing, guys. It's actually a fairly simple build. So for this build, we're going to need a 17 by four spacing. And then right at the beginning, first two, we're gonna actually need a two by six spacing. Now you don't have to bring it down that far. This is if you wanna expand it as far as possible. So it goes up to 15 guys. So if you're gonna make it five, you're gonna need a lot less spacing than this. Also right here is everything we're going to need for the most, this is the most you're going to need. So if you're gonna make it smaller, if you're gonna make the gate smaller, then you're not gonna need this much stuff. So let me just take out a few things. If you wanna pause the video and get your stuff right now, if you're doing this on survival, go right ahead. But I'm just gonna take out a few things we're gonna need for this build. So I'm gonna take out some sticky pistons, some regular pistons, some repeaters, dust, redstone torch. We're only gonna need one button. We can use stone or wood, it doesn't really matter. So let's use wood buttons. Uh, take out some blocks of choice. I'm gonna be using smooth sandstone, some lime wool, and some sand, I guess. So what we're gonna do is from the bottom left-hand corner, once you've gotten your 17 by four spacing and you've dug down your three, also remember you need to have enough room to dig down four, so don't do it right off flat lands. Come to your bottom left-hand corner and count over one. So one like that and put a block up right here with dust on top of it, and then put a torch coming off the right-hand side of it. Next, what I want you to do is put a repeater coming out of the torch, and then right in front of your one tick delay repeater that is on, this is the only spot you're gonna have to dig down. Dig down one right here and put a uh, regular piston facing upwards with a piece of sand on top of it. So actually, let me get rid of my sand for now too and take out my lever. Next to the left-hand side of this sand block, we're gonna put dust down right here, and then swing over here and going back into this block with the torch on it, put a repeater here on three ticks delay, and this makes a very nice falling edge model stable circuit. The first place I actually saw this on was Broadbent's channel, so I will have a link to his channel in the description below. He makes some really good redstone stuff. So next, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go five. I'm not gonna expand it all the way out, guys. It's very easy to extend it out, but I'm only gonna go five. So right from this torch, I'm just gonna go over five with my dust. So one, two, three, four, five. You can bring it out as far as you want, guys. You know, you can make it two, one, five, 10, doesn't really matter and then we're out of every single piece of dust here you want to put a repeater coming out of every piece of dust then put blocks up in front of every single repeater put torches on top of all the blocks the torches will go off then take out your block of choice this is the block you will be able to see because it's the block you'll be walking on and put them right above each off torch like that so i'm going to be using smooth sandstone like i said Next, what I want you to do is come back over here where this block with the torch on it is and put a lever off to the side of it and just click the lever down for now. So this sand block should go down. Next, we're going to swing to the backhand side over here where all our torches are. And then off the block right next to them, we're going to put sticky pistons facing upward. So like this, they should all extend up and do it one more time. They should all extend up and then put blocks of choice right above them. Next, what we're going to do is come back over here and flip that lever back up. So see... Now it goes down and goes up, extends up and goes down. Very beautiful, it's very compact, so you could thank Broadbent for that, it's very nice. I'm not sure if he's the one who created it, but it is very beautiful, it's very small and compact. Next, what we're gonna do is actually, I'm gonna take out my, uh, let's get rid of the lever. We don't need that lever right now. And I'm just gonna come out one over from this. This is gonna be our wall where our button's gonna be going. So actually come out one more floor black, Floor, floor black, yes. One more floor block over here so we can make it nice and even. As you can see, it's, it looks like a T kind of. And then just come up two blocks on the side. So this is my wall block. You can use whatever you want. I'm using quartz. And then we're going to put a button here and a button there like that. Next, what we're going to do is come off to the back side of these buttons. I'm going to put a block right here and right here with dust on top of both of them. So now if we click the buttons, our dust should come on back here. So it comes on and it comes on. Next, put a block in the middle of them and come down a block delete this block and put dust right here so now the two buttons are connected together then coming out from the right hand side next to this sand block we're going to come two blocks towards this dust right here so let me get rid of this this is getting my way so one two then coming out of the block with the dust right here we're going to put a repeater going this way set to four ticks delay and then put another repeater in front of that one set to four ticks delay as well with a block up in front of it so now if i click the button down up here it does this goes up and then comes down. Beautiful. So do it one more time. Goes up. 
and then comes down. All right, guys, so now that we got our double piston extension in for the bottom, now it's time to do the top half. So for the top half, we're gonna need our fence gates, we're gonna need our slabs, and we're gonna need our blocks of choice. So what I like to do is right above where our double piston extension is, so if I click it right here, you can see our double piston extensions right here. I like to put three rows of fence here. Now you can use whatever you want. You can use iron bore, iron, yeah, bores, iron bores. There's bores in here and they're iron. <laughs> iron bars, you can use netherrack fence. You can use blocks, glass, whatever you really want to, but I like using fence. So we're gonna do three rows of fence and then we're gonna take out our ceiling block of choice. I'm gonna be using quartz. You can use whatever you want. Just make sure you know this is gonna be your ceiling right here. And then right from off your ceiling block, you're gonna go three blocks up. One, two, three, delete these two. Then take out your pistons and put two pistons facing downwards off of each ceiling block. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and one, come on, two, there we go. Delete that. Next, what I want you to do is actually click your button. So this will make everything extend up. So boop, everything gets extended up. Now we know where it's going to be when everything is up. This is the highest it's gonna go. So then off the left-hand side of it over here, not the front, this is your, this is the inside of your castle right here or the inside of your building. So we're gonna to go to the outside of it and we're gonna put two row, we're gonna put a row right here on the top pistons and put dust all along them. And then right next to your ceiling block right here, we're gonna put a block right along those with dust all along these blocks as well. So it looks something like that. Next, what we're gonna do is come out one more block and put two repeaters on one tick of delay. And then we're actually gonna come back to this later because we're just, it's, all we need to literally do is just hook the bottom into this top part now. So what we're actually gonna do is come back down here to the bottom and actually let's put in our lockout switch first. I wanna put in our lockout switch. So to do our lockout switch, literally just you know come out up with your block of choice on your uh, wall right here. This is your block of choice. Then right here where this little V shape is, this is the reason why we made this V shape is so we could put that lockout switch in. So what we're gonna do is go one block right above it. So right here, see how it cuts it off? Just go one more block right above it and then put a sticky piston facing downwards. So I like to just go like that and put a sticky piston facing downwards like that. Put a block of choice right next to the right hand side of it with dust on top of it. Then delete this block in here and put a lever facing upwards off this block. Because if we put it right on the block itself, it will activate this down here, which we do not want that to happen. So now we can lock it out. See, we go like this and it locks it out. So if we click the button, it won't do anything. So now we got our lockout switch in. So now we can actually move on from this and do the rest of our actual redstone. <laughs> so come back down here to our little V shape over here and see how we came out to the right side over here. We're gonna come out to the left hand side now. So I'm gonna use my yellow wool for this. We're gonna come out to the left hand side and put a repeater going this way, set to one tick delay. Put a block up in front of it. Put a block over to the side of it. We could delete that block, it's not needed. Put dust here. Next, we're gonna put a sticky piston facing upwards next to the block that the dust is on. Put a block right above your sticky piston. Come a block down next to your sticky piston. Put a repeater coming out of it, set to one tick delay. Then right next to this block right here that it's the repeater is on, put a sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top of it. Next, actually what we're gonna need is sand. So come two sand blocks up from this block right here. So one, two, sand or gravel, it doesn't really matter, but I like using sand. Then coming out over from where our actual uh, thing is right here, we're gonna come out one more block next to the top sand block, put dust on top of it. And then you can put a lever off any side of the block if you really want to, but I like putting it on the inside and then just flick it down so it's on forever. Next, what we're gonna do is put a block right next to our lever next to the sand again. And then coming out from this sand block, we're gonna put a repeater going this way, set to one tick delay with a block in front of it and dust on top of it. Now this is where our so, uh, <laughs> this is where our slabs are gonna come into play. We're gonna have to make a slab ladder going all the way up. So just put a slab right next to your lockout switch uh, piston, put dust on top of it. Then all you have to do is like the same thing I usually do with all my slab ladders, just put a block on top of it, over one, and then put a slab down like that. Delete these two, put dust. Then we could just put a slab right here next to this one, take the lay repeater with dust on top of it. Do the same thing again, up one, over one, down one with a slab. Delete these two, put dust here and then put a slab next to this one tick delay as well with dust on top of it and that should be it guys you should be completely done so now if we click this button it closes and then if we click the button again it opens up and that's it so now all we have to do is literally clean it up and make it look nice so just take out your block of choice your ceiling block and just come across like that making it look nice do 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 do, do. like that and like that and that's it. 
and then also if you want to lock it out go right ahead now if you want to extend it out guys it is very simple to extend it out what i like to do actually is make sure this make sure it's open like this first actually you know what close it just close it like this there we go and now, now what we're going to do is extend it out. So if you want to extend it out, just literally bring this these blocks over. So let me get rid of all these. We don't need any of this right now. So we're going to take out these blocks and our green blocks. So just take this line down more. So, you know, go like this, bring it down more like that. Do, 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 do. Put blocks on top of those. Dust here. Then put your pistons facing downwards. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, like that. Beautiful. Take out your block of choice, your ceiling block. Put it all along this. Take your fences or whatever you're using and just put them all along here. Like that. Like that. Next, what I want you to do is just, you know, bring your dust down for as long, for as far as you're going with your extension. Put your repeaters here. Blocks in front of your repeaters. Torches on top of your blocks. Where's my torches? They're not here. Like that. There we go. Next, what we're going to do is actually put your block of choice right here. Like that. And then just put a row of blocks here and put your sticky pistons facing upwards. Delete this row. And then put your sticky pistons facing upwards again. Now, if you want to make it easier on yourself and do that, all you have to do is come down here with your lever, click this down, make sure it's in the up position like that, and then do it with your fence opened. I just did it with the fence closed, though. But there you guys go. That's how you extend it out. It's very easy to do. Let's bring this out more like that, like that, and like that, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so now if we click the button, it opens up. Click the button again. Closes. And then if we click this... We lock ourselves out, so now it won't do anything. So there you guys go. That's how you build my castle gate or poor colorless gate. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.